Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss Talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss Talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss Talk. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know, Madel, walk well, on. But y'all don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, share us on all social media platforms, including Patreon, because that's where you're going to find the full length interviews after <clears> a while. <throat> Sign up for our memberships and you can see all our full length interviews. But we're also offering that on our YouTube channel. But the only place you're going to find the full length on our YouTube is under our membership program. So definitely sign up for that if you want to see our full length interviews. Man, you guys are in for a treat today, man. We got a guy in here today, y'all. As I always say, he really don't need no introduction, man. If you've been on the internet, if you've been listening and hearing the smooth sounds, man, of what's really going down, man, you got yeah, to have yeah. a ear for this, man. Marcellus the singer is in the building. What's going on? Let's get it, man. What's good, big bro? Man, it's, I'm just so glad to have you, bro. Just happy that you would even, you know, bless us to sit amongst the Boss Talk 101 uh, platform, right? Yes, One of the bosses uh, is pretty much going through all situations and circumstances trying to figure it all out, man. man I appreciate y'all for having me. Man. I watch y'all, man. You watch the show? Most definitely. Man, it be going down over here, don't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, look, when he hit me with the call, uh, normally, you know, he'll just hit me, you know, with a drop message. Hey, look, so-and-so trying to do this, do that. You know, all right, you want to do it? Yeah, yeah. So it's really just, you know, he hit me with the call. I'm just thinking it's just something, you know. I got to tell him, yeah, he nay. I go back and look at it. I'm, oh, that's my guy. Yeah, I'm always <laughs> over there. Yeah, man, because I, I you know, I call and talk crazy. People think, I'll be like, I'm going to mess the interview up before I get it. I'll be man. too, i just be too real. Like, I just, I can't be fake. So you can when never I, be too real, though. So I'll be on it. Like, I'm like, what's up? You right. know, I, I just be who I am. So if you right. see me on the set, that's what you getting when I call you. So it'd be like, damn, you know, like, who is this? That nigga crazy. Or that nigga That's bold. Or just, and it's just me being me. So I just can't be fake, man. Yeah. But I feel like right now we in an age to where that's rule number one. Like yeah. being authentic before anything. The people want to see you really about what you talking about. Uh, you know, even if you a rapper, you know, they want to see if you really killing. If you talking about killing, like it's just, you know, whatever you giving to them, they won't see if it's authentic. You said that's rule number one, but a lot of people don't live by that at all. That's why, you know, when you think about the life of social media, right? 80% of social media is fake. Yeah, but that's why you got people that win and people that don't. You got people that get it and people that don't. 80%? Yeah. I said about 80%. Damn, you know, like 80% like mm -hmm. that? You really going to go in like that on us? 80%? I mean, I'm I go with them. 100 we 100 over here. Of course. We <laughs> Married 20 years. We in the 20%. Had this business over here for 16 years. Yeah. Got kids just, what, 15 and 17, and I ain't going to tell you the other two age, yeah. but, you know, they grew up in this store, too. It, it's just crazy because, you know, you in a real situation here. So for whatever everybody else doing, I have nothing to do with that. Here. Right. <laughs> Man. But anyway, for me, I love to get to know you as a person. Um, right. Not a singing part yet. Right, right. But uh, where were you born and raised? Uh, I was born in Hammond, Louisiana. I was raised in Amy, Louisiana, between Amy, Louisiana, and Roseland, Louisiana. But Where it's really it? the same thing. It's it's all small. It's country and small. Where's your Louisiana accent? Uh, uh, see that? See people uh, always get that mixed <laughs> up. Look, it's more of us than New Orleans. Mm. New Orleans is like they own the island, they own the corner. Mm -hmm. You know, you can be from the outskirts of New Orleans and still don't talk like that. Oh, okay. You know, it's it's Baton Rouge. It's a but lot I've of different. But I've met people from Louisiana, um, not New Orleans, that yeah. have a crazy accent. But look, it's a few though. It's it's really a Cajun accent, a Creole right. accent. It's uh, you can go to Lafayette, and they got it. Some of them got it. You can go to Reserve, Laplace. Uh, you can go to Slidell sometimes. But it's just different little spots that 
you know, I don't know why it is. It was already like that. When I, I already know up. you get out, man. I already know. I already know. Yo, yo. Yeah, he, 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 got the, he got the regular voice for choice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is a whole different ball game over here. No, he don't yeah, got yeah, a regular got a, voice. He might got a regular dialect for the voice part now. Well, when I say that, I'm talking about regular. dialect. So you right. I'm, I'm going to let you win on that. You don't let you win, but you hit me with that one. I can't lie. <laughs> so were you raised with your mom and dad? Uh, My mom. Just your mom? Yeah, Why yeah. is that ever? I'm not saying everybody, but that's like the story everybody yeah. gives. Where was dad? You know, he was doing his thing. He was around, but he wasn't around. Okay, know? so he at least he was around, so you do know yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, you know, he had his choice, of, you know. Did you ever listen to Shaquille O'Neal? Party favors. He got a song called Feel Is My Father because my biological wouldn't bother. Mm -mm, I never heard. You got to check that out. Okay. It's I've really never the heard same. That yes. no. <laughs> go go check out Shaquille O'Neal. He used to rap, believe it or not. I know he used to rap. I know that part, but yeah, I didn't hear that. He had a got, song uh, called Feel Is My Father. Don't he got platinum records and yeah, that's oh, what I'm yeah, saying. Sure. Like, yeah, yeah. He got he got a way of getting his getting his uh, yeah. That, yeah what well, yeah. was hard back in the day. Shout out to Shaquille O'Neal, mm, man. Shout out to Shaq. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't man. no look. I, I wasn't listening, so I don't you gotta know, go check I don't it know out. What he was doing. Mm -hmm. Go check it out. Go I just know he check. was doing something, but I don't know what he was doing. Put in Shaquille O'Neal and feel, and you are gonna see what I'm you talking. I heard about. he had crazy features. Like he did an album. He did. He did have some features, but just go check him out. You know, he was playing ball too. You know, he started. Started off, I think, with the Magics, and then he went on over to Lakers and all that. But mm -hmm. that boy did his thing, man, and I always been a big fan. But that music part, I really remember because I really believed in him. I believed in him in the music as well. Many niggas didn't, but I rode with the nigga anyway. Yeah. Big Shaq, roll with him. But his dad, pretty much, he was in the same situation where he felt like his dad didn't do what he supposed to did by yeah, him. Yeah. And I think that's a lot. Of know, I, don't, I don't blame him though. You know, he had his his choice of party favors. You know. Yeah. So, you know, he had his own battles. We, Already. We, we talked, you know, later on. But you did, did you understand that as a kid, though? You didn't understand that as a kid? No, nah, no. Nah, nah. Were you mad but at him as a kid? I wasn't mad at him, but I appreciate him, though, because he put a chip on my shoulder from young. I, like, I'm and, the chip, you, and the chip helped? <clears throat> the chip helped. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. From a kid, I was already on what I wanted to do when I grew up, man. How I wanted my life to go and all that, man. My pops went around, man. I want to have some kids. I want to have this many kids. I want be there for them. How I many wanna... kids did you want? I wanted two. Oh, okay. I skipped past two though. How many yeah, you I got? Had twins, so I skipped right to three. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say. That's what I was say. You made it sound like I'm gonna have ten. That's what nah, I was looking for. No, nah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Wow, um, man. You know uh, when you, you turn on this smooth sound, man. First of all, welcome to Dallas, man. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Man. Welcome to Dallas, Texas, man. I love where, Dallas. Dallas. I mean, you know, me. like 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 Dallas is a place where I think I mean, it's a lot of guys that come through Dallas, man. I had the pleasure of rocking with. Shout out to Sir Charles Jones. Shout, Shout out, out to, Sir to Charles. LJ Eccles. Shout out to uh Big Bro. Yeah, like a lot of these different guys who who really that sings, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? That that's in the area and and just a little Shout out to Stone Mecca. <clears throat> Stone Mecca dope. You got to check him out. Yeah. Oh, I go in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just talked to him another night, too, on the phone. He played that good song like crazy. Ooh. He done played with, he done been played around B.B. King, Prince, all of them. He one of them guys. Oh, he cutting up, yeah. What? Man, stop playing. And it, uh, a Wu-Tang, too. He rock out. Yeah. He, yeah, he's, he's that guy, man. Just look him up. Stone Mecca, shout out. I'm going to do mm -hmm. that. <laughs> so you've always wanted to sing from a kid growing up? No. I ain't going to lie. I thought, you remember when Drumline came out, mm -hmm. the movie Drumline? Mm -hmm. Now, I thought I was just using my head. You know, I'm a kid. I'm thinking, all right, football go from middle school to NFL. Mm -hmm. All right, basketball go from middle school. Well, really little league, you know, go from little league to the NBA. You know, band, you know, go along with both of them. So I'm like, all right, they got, I'm gonna do they all got a big it. league band. You okay. know, so I'm going to be Nick. I'm going to be the best, you know, and I'm going to. But it ain't work out like that. I, I figured out later on, you know, it stopped after college and you got to figure something else out. <laughs> Did you used to sing in church? Yeah, yeah. What was one of them church songs that you used to sing? Give it to me. Uh, I always do that. That's one. That's, that, that can help somebody right there. Oh, uh, yeah? Yes, sir. Let's Let me go. See. Let me see. Give me one. something. The one that you were saying, like, man, that's the one that get me through. Yeah, yeah. 
Let me see. Let me see. Let me think of one. Let me think of a good one. There you go. Thank you. It's one my mama used to sing to us when, when I was a kid. Let me see if I can figure out the words. So your mom can sing good, too. Yeah, yeah. She do a little bit. <clears throat> Let me see. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship thee. Oh, my soul, rejoice. Take joy, my key, in what you hear, and let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Man, man, love it. say, man, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Something that'll get you through the mm -hmm. day. You know what I'm saying? That that's like like you gotta have some song that can get you through when things get tough. You know, uh, mine was just a little light of mine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, or either it was, uh, you know, I'm older, so mine go back a little bit further. Uh, it was uh, it was, uh, it was, was a bunch of songs that my mom would sing to us. And and it was songs that I believe she heard from people that was in her family. And I think you got to have those songs, man. Because to. those songs will get you through. It will. You know what I'm saying? They'll get you through. Yep, they yep. will. And ain't no way around it. I think you, you got to get out. So what, what... You have a you you in a you in a different. I don't know your age, but you you younger. Yeah. You live when a young man come into this game, seeing the type of music that you sing right. in this time. A lot of people sometimes rejected. Feel like you have to pave a way. Mm -hmm. Seem like you're not ready. They trying to figure out a way to make it to where you have to go through all type of tunnels to get there. Mm -hmm. How hard is it being for you to get in? To this whole situation Not hard at all Not hard Yeah cause I, I really had to understand it Like I watched Like a lot of upcoming artists I watched they path And you know what Really stood out for them And made them You know made people love them And I figured out You really just gotta be you With whatever you doing It don't matter what you doing Um But what I wanted to know Cause you said you didn't want to do music at first. When did you figure out that you wanted to do music, and why? I think seventh grade. I want to say it might have been eight, but I think it was seventh grade. Uh, my cousin slash best friend growing up, you know, mm -hmm. since babies. Uh, he came to school one day, and you know they was on a that's that's back when they had the MP3 players. Mm -hmm. You know, and they had the MP3 play in, and they had it in there, you know, they had recess and everybody. Ooh, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm thinking a new song came out. They let me hear it. It's him and a couple of my other partners. Mm -hmm. Now, I had never been on a song before. I think we did, like, uh, remember the little karaoke machines mm -hmm. that you could put a tape in and you could record it? Mm -hmm. You could hit record and then get on the mic. I think that's about the closest thing I had did to recording something. Mm. But hearing them on the song, and I said, "Oh yeah, yeah." And then that's around the time where I figured out, yeah, this this band thing only go so far. <laughs> I gotta figure something else out. But I knew I wanted to be rich though, mm -hmm. and so that's now, like every kid, yep. So now so I'm in bed and music. Drum line. That's what he thought. Mm -hmm. Man, I thought I was gonna do Nick. Now you I knew everything Nick knew how to do. Look, my thought process was, all right, Nick did it, and he was this good. I'm gonna learn everything Nick did. And I'm going to be a little bit better So I know for <laughs> sure I can do it <laughs> How old was you when you were thinking like this? Man, I had to be I don't, I don't Like 10, 9, 10 And you wasn't thinking that's This is just the movies Uh-uh no, I didn't know the movies was the movies back then <laughs> You thought it was just I'm for the, You was in that whole just, Yeah, yeah I was in front I never had drumsticks or nothing So like my band director When I got in band finally Like he was he was in awe because I didn't know how to do. I just knew what to do. <laughs> but like, you can so, play it by yeah, ear. Yeah, by yeah. ear. Yeah, that's But it's it like when you're playing on a drum, you have bounce. You know, you have you don't have to, you know, do everything real fast with your hands. But I didn't know nothing about that. So while I'm doing it, I'm trying to make it sound like they, but I'm doing singles with everything. And I'm really doing some shit that I ain't supposed to be doing. <laughs> so when up. he heard me, yeah, I got pencils. I ain't never have drumsticks. My mom ain't never buy me no drumsticks. We used mm -hmm. to, you know, the hangers. Yeah, they got the little. Uh, it's a wire hanger. Mm -hmm. They got the little carb, the little round yeah, the cardboard. cardboard. Yeah, yeah. You know, we used to take them and break them in half, 
and beat on and made your own drumsticks. Pins, busting them on the couch. What did he say when you? What did he say when he seen you do that? Who? Your 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 instructor. instructor. Man, I think uh, still to this day, uh, my class was his favorite class ever came through there. But he didn't know what to say, like because he was trying to do the introduction. Look, it's funny. It's funny now, but I was so serious because. When I got to middle school, I was on this before I was in middle school, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. when I got to middle school, I'm all games, no play. You know, my pops ain't around. He was around and he wasn't. You know, I don't know where he yet. I'm thinking about, man, I'm the man of the house. My mama told me one time I was the man of the house. Now, <laughs> it stuck with me. I'm like, man, I got to go get it. Yeah. I got to get it early. It don't matter that I'm a kid. Yeah. So everything from then on was just, I got to, yeah, I got to do it. I got to get on my grind. So when I got... Uh, to middle school, we on the playground. Everybody, you know, playing basketball, running around, doing whatever. I got my pencils. I'm over here. I'm over here getting in. I'm practicing. Hard with it. I'm ready to see Dr. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm ready, ready for to see, that to see you. Mm-hmm. So, um, it might have been about five or six uh, other kids. Now, this is my first year going to this school. I was going to Greensburg. And then I moved to uh, Ain't Meet where we were staying at. Mm-hmm. So uh, before it was over with, before we had even had the tryouts and all of that, I had about five people that used to, well, five kids that used to come on the playground and come over and practice with me, make sure they got pencils and everything and get me to teach them how to do everything. So I said, all right, so y'all over here learning. I'm going to teach y'all. Y'all going to be my snap line. Y'all gonna be my line when I go in there, you know. So I'm gonna get y'all right. I said you gonna be first tier, you gonna be second, third. You know, I'm picking everybody out. out. You got to move it all calm down in this yeah. mind. <laughs> man. I'm so serious with this. I feel this in my heart as a yeah, kid. Yeah, you own you it. You know, this is what I gotta do. So I end up teaching them right, and it end up being like four of them that got kind of good. You know, so uh, you couldn't go to PE and go to band uh, at the same time. It was during the same time. So they came over to Intercom. They say everybody that want to be in the band, stay back and go to the band room instead of going to PE. I said, oh, shit. Yeah, it's time now. I had a fresh pack of pencils. <laughs> I had the 24 pack. I'm passing them out. Y'all ready? You know, we getting ready. We finna go in here. We finna cut up. So everybody, uh, we get in there. They coming in, they got the pencils under their arms. Like, 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 it, yeah. like, it's going down. It's going down. They got the pencils under their arms, right? They walking, I'm the first one. They that nigga leader, me. he done got these niggas ready. My band director fucked up. Like, hey, come. What are y'all doing? <laughs> you don't know what's going on. Discipline coming up in here and everything was going on. So. In order. Yeah. So he asked the question, right? He say, I want everybody that's new to come, uh, new coming in. I want y'all to stand up, tell me your name, why you want to be a part of the band, right? So, my guys, I was first. So, I'm over here. All my guys is over here. You Which? Know, they, they, but they come before me, yeah. starting okay. from over here. So, everybody getting up. They, uh, uh, my name is so-and-so. Uh, I want to I wanna be in the band. I want to play the, uh, the snare. Like Terrence. That's my, uh, my government name. I want to I wanna play the, uh, the snare like Terrence. So, he looking at me. Yeah, and all them. Yeah, I'm a kid. <laughs> I'm a kid now. This sixth grade. <laughs> so the next one get up. Uh, same yeah, thing. Uh, the same thing. <laughs> like they all saying something different, but really around the same thing. Like yeah, he got oh. me. Yeah, he well, I'm with him. We right. Huh? He got me to come in here with him too. Yeah, so, I know he couldn't wait to get to you. <laughs> man, he couldn't wait. So he got to me. He hesitated a little bit. He said, uh, "What's your name, man? And why you want to be in the band?" So you remember Nick Cannon couldn't read music, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can't read music. I done learned everything oh, you this can nigga read. know how to play. Oh, okay. No, I don't know how to I don't know. I ain't you never seen a shit of music. Everything, okay. I never seen a shit of music. I just seen it on the movie. Okay, I know it looked like a little it looked like D's and I don't know. I don't know. But I, I stood up and I told him, I said, I had my sticks under my arm. My name is Terrence Daniels and I already know how to play. I just can't. <laughs> To learn how to read and sat down. And he sat there for like <laughs> a minute. <laughs> like, I don't know what to do with this. Like, I already know like, how to play. <laughs> he like, you know how to play. What you know how to play? 
I said, I'm, I'm first chest snap drummer. <laughs> <laughs> he knew you watched that movie. I'm cocky. No, I'm, gee, he think I'm he cocky, really, bro. I know what I can do. Like, I know what I can do. I know I can do all of this. And he, they grown. I know I'm a kid. So I know that's I how, should be pressure. That's how I'm Nick Cannon did, too. Yeah. And then I'm going around. Like, I got uncles. I got people that have been in the band before. They telling me, man, you going to be a problem. So Nick I'm, kills so the So I dude. know I got it. I know I got it. So he said, man, so you can play? <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah. I know how to play I mean, already. Come play he it said, right now. Nah, he... He grown. He know how it go. Drumsticks, drums. That's how you play the you drum. You don't know. I don't know nothing about that. So he say, you can play something for me? I said, yeah, yeah. Where you want me to play it at? He said, and he looked back at the drum he had back there. He said, what you mean? Where you? I play it anywhere. <laughs> he said, yeah. I said, yeah. I sat down right there. I had the chair that was in front of me. It was a little plastic chair that'll sound off if you hit it. I played the uh, the required piece when they was doing the little uh, pop, 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 pop. yeah when they was uh, qualifying yeah, the yeah 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 I played that shit and I played a little something something on the end yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh man what he do he just was man talking. he got quiet for like another two minutes solid two minutes you know two minutes being quiet that's long, long time. time that's long everybody looking around and he just looking at me he said man. <laughs> What are you doing? I said, oh, I fucked up. <laughs> ah, I put too much on it. I, I should have left. I, I should have left the some some on the end. I was like Nick. Damn, Nick fucked up the same way I came in and did it. He said, man, that was good. He said, man, you don't have to trial. Matter of fact, I want you to help me do the trials. I looked at my guys. I said, I told y'all. <laughs> I ain't say it out loud, but I said it with my eyes. I told y'all, and I told you who was going. We finna get look, to it. Everybody that I said, the order that I said, they was in that order. Mm. Wow. Yeah, because you trained them, they already knew what to do. But look, I told them though, because look, I got discipline already. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Nick and Sean them, that was my crowd brothers. I felt like <laughs> so you know, yeah. they was on the press. Somebody been had to clean some drums or something. Yeah, yeah. They don't do right. Nick, yeah. Nick Cannon, you see what you did, man? man I'm that you. movie influenced you that much, man. I'm telling you. So look, I told them, I said, you know, they know who I said was gonna be what chap, but I ain't got nothing to do with that. Y'all gotta earn this, right? You feel me? I ain't picking nothing. Y'all gotta come in here. You if you I gotta say, get the ones and the twos. Yeah, and if I said you one and I said you two and two came in here and showed one up, two is one. Yeah, hey. that's how we doing it. But everybody got they uh, they got they their spot, they man. stood their ground. Yup, yup. They and they did exactly what he yeah. had already knew that they uh -huh. were gonna do. Mm -hmm. That's wow. how you judged them right beforehand. Mm -hmm. But what you how said. hard was it for you that when to it, readjust to the real to the, way to the, the drum real way of playing and drums the, and stuff? Uh, yeah, compared to just <clears> using <throat> your pencils, how hard is it to? It adjust? wasn't hard because after figuring out I wanted to do that, I'm always in church, and my mama. She was a, a missionary at the time. She evangelist now. Mm -hmm. She moved up. Hard, <laughs> hard. Man, she had us in church so much. Like, and, and, and God forgive me, don't, don't do me that. We was in church every day of the week at one point, I feel like. Monday nights was like children's ministry. Tuesday night was like choir rehearsal. Wednesday Bible study. Thursday night was women's ministry. My mama ain't had no babysitter. So you had to come? Yeah. Yeah, and but then they want to sing. No, it didn't keep you out of trouble. <laughs> that nah. got you in the more. You get to contact with more people. The girls at the church too. Nah, now. cause look, everything working. How you got in trouble if you at church every night? Well, half I was half of the time I was by my auntie. Half of the time I was by my mama. When I'm mm -hmm. by my auntie, I'm in the hood. I'm around the road. I'm outside. Mm. You know, I'm getting in the shit. We fighting dogs. We all type of you know. All type of activities. I ain't gonna, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's hard, man. I, I just, like, man, I know how ready your love for music is there. For you to do a whole Nick Cannon run, you know what I'm saying, drumline, man, <laughs> it, it, that was hard, man. So, I just, um, like, when I listen to your music, man, like, you different than a lot of people, man. What inspired you to do the type of music that you were doing on these last, I think I seen three on the internet that really was sticking out to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, what caused you to do that that genre of, of music? Uh, My partner right now, my manager, CEO, whatever you want to call him, uh, T. Hogan, you know, he, he was reaching out. He actually booked me 
Mm. You know, I had known him, you know, already we had good rapport and all that, but uh he booked me for a show and ain't meet. You know, and I'm I'm like, uh he went through my partner scan to get me. So, mm-hmm. you know, I got love for scan. All right, you all right, I'm gonna come do it. Um I didn't know nothing about the music. <clears throat> Excuse me. I didn't know nothing about the genre, nothing about none of that. Cause so you were like, just into R and B, okay. But I'm modern, modern day. You know, I'm young, so mm-hmm. I'm on what we own, you right? Know? So I'm like, but it's an R and B dead. So what is R and B? You said no, because he said dead. when you no think more. about Mo three and, and 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 when you think about Mo three and 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 that song, like like the song that he would sing. <clears> I remember you. I just when we was talking, I'm saying I bring it up now. Mm-hmm. How you you basically he he took a liking to you when he was alive. Mm-hmm. Like, how did that even happen? Uh, I used to be in the army, right? Okay. And, uh, I was at AT. Um, it's like a two week thing you got to do when you're in the National Guard. You know, two weeks while you're out there on board. You know, I was a troublemaker anyway, so I was probably in trouble somewhere. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I seen um when he did a remix to that Sierra and I. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I ain't know who he was or nothing, but. I but know, you liked it. yeah, because like I'm one of the people that are still make videos singing, you know, just raw, just the camera and me, and you don't see a lot of that no more. Like people don't be, and he used to do that. Yeah, yeah, like people don't be brave enough. Like you got to really be He'll brave. Get in that, that kitchen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to really let people hear how you sound. You know, because everybody using auto tunes <clears throat> nowadays. Yeah, so it's it's like if you using a lot of it. And you do something like that, you know, they gonna hear the real. Mm-hmm. So you don't really hear that too much. So I saw that, you know, I was like, man, who this dude is? Cause I'm, to me, me and my uh, my cousin that I started doing music with, we the only two niggas that still do this to me in my head. Oh, okay. yeah. You know. And At I'm, this time, you were about 21, 20? Yeah, I'm about, about 20, 21. Yeah. yeah. One of them. But, uh, <clears throat> you know he wasn't as big as he is now. Yeah, yeah, too. But I just, I just take a liking to who I take a liking to. Like I'm more of a fan of the craft than you know the status and how big you is and all that. So while I was there, I couldn't get it out of my head. I was like, you know what? You he remixed. He remixed, and I'm gonna remix the remix. The part about it, you know, it's crazy. I made a mistake and uploaded the first video. Anybody that's saying they know, like if you making a video like that. By the time you finish, you're going to have like 10 videos in your phone from you starting it over trying to do it right. Mm-hmm. The video that I uploaded was, was the, the first, first try that I did, and I ain't do it right or nothing. I was just trying to see if the sound, the volume was right and everything and like that. accidentally did it. Yeah, and I switched. I think I got a new phone, and I couldn't get my data over. So okay. I was like, man, yeah, I got to get the video right here. So... The one that I picked wasn't the right one. And you were shocked. And I just threw it up, you know, because I just knew, you know, it was the right one. I just threw it up. By the time I realized it was at like 50K, mm. you know, so you can't really take it take down. Take it down now, now. After it's at 50K, mm-hmm. so. That's hard, man. It's crazy. I still can't really listen to the video like that because I knew how I did it. I knew I you did it way better. Up. Right. So every time I listen to it, it's like. <clears throat> so what did you go viral on the second time? Uh, the second time had to be, uh, a party, a birthday party I did, and it was an appearance, and my, uh, my manager at the time, he knew the birthday girl, he was like, man, you gotta get up here and do something, boy, man, I'm like, man, nah, man, they paid for appearance, man, I can't be coming out here appearance and hop on stage and come mm-hmm. on, man, what this gonna do for me, he was like, ah, well, you can do something that ain't one of your songs. You ain't got to do one of your songs. You can just do something. So I end up um, doing that tank fucking with me. Mm. Okay, now, now I got to hear how you sung that. I'm going to make him sing all day since he didn't <laughs> remember that. Over. I'm yeah. just singing you know all day. Right, right. I got to get you on boss talk with that. Yeah. How did it go? <clears throat> Let me see. Let me eat it up for a while. Let me through. Shake it, screaming out loud. I'm a fool. Make my face your chair, leaking everywhere. Riding on, I don't care what you do. Oh, every time I look at you, be 
losing it. Trust me, girl, I know just what to do with it. You got it on my face. I love the way that it tastes. When you put it all on my plate, it won't go to waste. That's what you get every day when you fucking with me. Yo. Man, that boy there, hey, mm. man. And you know what? I'm listening to him, and I'm trying to find fault in your voice, and I cannot find it. It's like. He's doing the scene. He sounds so oh, that's crazy effortless. That's crazy, because I, I got about 25, 30% of it left. <laughs> that done worked me since I've been down here, man. I man. came down here to do one show. That's it. I done did what? Two podcasts, three podcasts, two shows. That's hard. Yeah, yeah. That's you hard. working. Uh, yeah. That's what you're here for. Dallas loving me. I'm loving Dallas. Already, oh, man. <laughs> Why do artists always, you know, take one ear off? They can hear themselves. So you can hear. Yeah, so you, you can, can hear, hear oh, yourself. Yeah. Yo, yo. He so you can't hear. hear yourself when you have both of them on. He used nah. to sing without it on. You no, because artists are they be having. Yourself. Okay. He, he want to hear how he hear how he's used to hearing it when he's seeing it. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I so. see everybody do it. That's why I was wondering. <laughs> man, so <clears throat> man, toxic man, talk to me about this song, man. Man, toxic man. That was that was my master plan to get in this thing, man. Break through. The <laughs> what was your master plan? Is about it because, like I said, remember earlier I said uh, they don't really pay attention to the young niggas. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, I understand both sides. You know, it's a lot of shit that they don't, you know, they go against the code and go against how everything, they morals and everything they stood for, principles and everything. So I get why, but when it, man, when it comes to that business, man, the young niggas paid away, man. Wow. They really right. showed you how to get it. So, so what'd you say? What, I'm just trying to understand, like, <clears throat> like on that song, what, so was it a, like, if I throw them this, they gonna accept it like that, but. Nah, it was it was more of a you know Southern soul is more in your window than I'm gonna say this shit raw how it is, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's always you got the songs where oh this is my good thing I'm so in love we doing so good and then you got the the songs where oh no fuck him fuck her they did me so wrong or whatever. But ninety nine point nine percent of relationships land in the middle, you wow. know, and we ain't really have nothing you know in the genre that. Really spoke on it, you know. So it's like when we doing when we doing good, we got the music to listen to. When we doing bad, bad, we got the music that we listen to. But when we regular us, what we listening to? What's telling the truth about us? That's we real. toxic. Mm-hmm. Toxic. You feel me? It's good sometimes, bad sometimes. You know. You That's get hard. on my nerves. I get on yours. That's hard. That's hard. It, it, it really is. It's, it's truth, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wanted to give them some some truth shit. That's really you know. Going on. And I how see, long ago you did this song? I did uh, Toxic coming up on a year, probably ten months. Would yeah, because it has three point six million <clears throat> views on YouTube. That's your highest viewed right now. No, nah, it got it got more. It got more. Yeah, I took I took it down a couple of times. Why? Uh, I started doing my own distribution. You know, when you uh switch it over, it just come down and start over. Oh, yeah. so how much did it have before? All, all time streams. Last time I checked, it was like five something. Five. Minutes. What's that's you know. that's the biggest song you've ever done? Yeah, yo. Mm. Give me a verse out of it. <clears throat> so I gotta get that. the one they like. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say. Said it's getting too good, 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 and it's starting to stress me out. Cause I know I ain't you man, but you make me wanna pull up and choke you out. Been calling that phone, and I only got the answer machine. Yeah, you can do what you want, but you better not be playing with me. Oh, no, because you ain't my woman, but you're my woman. I ain't your man, but I'm your man. And you get on my goddamn nerve. I can't get it when I want. I guess I get it when I... That's toxic love. Yes, it is. But ooh, the toxic love is so good, baby. Man, oh, love. Why they love that, that verse so much? toxic love, baby. Because it's telling the truth on their motherfucking ass. <laughs> 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 man, 
nothing but mm. toxic love, man. Have you been through yo, that? Yo. Y'all better go check that time. one out, man. Y'all got to go see my boy, man. That boy there, man, Marcellus, man. Hey, man, you a dope singer, man. The singer. You know, you put that on. Who, who put the singer on there, man? That's what you doing, man. My partner, rest in peace to him, my partner, KJ. KJ. Uh, he died a few years back. Wow. We was uh actually shooting pool, right? And I had put a post Wait a minute, wait a minute, stop, bro. Don't come on my show. Yeah. Don't even mention pool when you're on Boss Talk 101. Ah, uh, come on, man. Bro, ain't no pool. Man, I shoot you with this cell phone right now. Come on. Yeah, I don't even need no stick. You don't even need a right stick. Oh. Say, stop playing with hey, me, look. man. No, my daddy taught me how to shoot, man. We shot with broomsticks back in the day. Now go on with the story. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we was in that shooting pool. I'm, I'm pretty good too, but I ain't gonna That's talk hard. my shit after like that second game, <laughs> cause I don't play on the regular. Oh, now, after okay. that first one, after I miss a few shots, and you know, it's up. Yeah, it's up. Then <laughs> I'm gonna talk my shit, man. <laughs> man, I'm talking but, whether I'm losing or winning, so you can get ready for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like the, I like to talk when I'm winning. Oh, either way, either way, I'm coming to get you. It's yeah, gonna, yeah. It's gonna either be a long way. night. I'm not gonna either let you way. walk out of there no winner. Coming up. <laughs> You coming over I'm so well So so what happened When y'all was doing, shooting well, that pool uh, Yeah we was in there And I think I had made A post And I was Already going by Marcellus But I was going by Marcellus Young Okay Don't ask me where the young Came from It just sounded right After Marcellus Yeah So I just put that You know You know my partner He put love after his shit We just picked some shit <laughs> Like niggas is doing last names Now yeah, we gonna do last names bro. But yeah, I end up um, making a post, and I had my name, and the singer, I don't know why the singer was right there, but it was a sentence, right? He read it like my name was Marcellus the Singer. He would call it, he would whoop my ass, and he would call me Marcellus the, the Singer. Singer? Yeah. That's the it, singer. that's something look, I do, was, that's the way I it do it right like, now, I like Marcellus this Marcellus the Singer, hey. like he would hit me with that shit the whole time. Look, he don't even know. He called me that shit so many times. Man, I went home that same night. Shit, I changed my shit on Facebook. <laughs> I changed my shit on Instagram and everything. So oh, sell us the singer. That's what we going with. And it was and it was the right choice. And yep, then yep. he ended up passing away. Yep, yep. Yeah, car wreck, shooting, shooting. Oh man, yep, yep. man, that's tough, man. You drive know, by. losing friend, drive by. Mm -hmm. Man, is it where was where, where is he from? The same hometown. Mm -hmm. Where is that at again? Uh, Roseland. Roseland. Yeah, is it, it pretty? It, it, is the crime rate yep. pretty high? Yeah, yeah. Wow, man! So you got, that's man. all it really is. You know, Louisiana period though is is poverty. Do you think Boosie was right when he said that when you make it success, you you have to move away from your home? Uh, <clears throat> I think it's ways it's ways around it. It depends on how you live. Okay. Like if you if you flashy, you need to get the fuck. You know, if 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 you wear it on you all the time, you you probably need to move around because it's always somebody gonna be plotting on you. But man, me man, when I'm at home. I don't, I don't be like, you know, when I'm everywhere else. Wow. And then home don't, don't really take a, uh, they don't really pay attention to, to who you is until it's right in their face, too. Mm. But like, even if you wear it all the time, if you don't wear it all the time, and they see you performing, they see you um, social <clears throat> media, all of that, they know you making money, mm -hmm. you don't but have to wear it. it's the social media age, though. So if, I, if I'm getting it, and you can see that I'm getting it and I'm doing the shows and everything like mm -hmm. that, people... People simple minded these days. They'll still look at me and say, nah, you got this on, you got that, you ain't, nah, he ain't, nah. He ain't made it, he ain't made it mm. there yet. You know, the what we, we gonna wait a while. Oh, okay. Whole time, I'm, you know. <laughs> That's just how it is. So, I'm gonna get you to sing again, man. I don't know what song, what song can I get you to sing again? Oh, man. You I'm gonna to wait till it. my wife get here, but it's going down. We finna get it, we gonna have us a concert. See, that's how you do it, man. Then people start looking for you and searching for you and trying yeah, to figure yeah. out who is this dude, man. He come through there. Man, me and T Dash, we're gonna talk about that too. Mm -hmm. T Dash, and we can talk about it now. T Dash is one of my one of my guys that been coming here for a long time, ever since he went viral on the internet. Yeah. And so yeah, so that's how we first See, started. I ain't really I ain't I don't really follow him or nothing like that, but I know we was on the show. Yeah, I was on the know, show so together. I, yeah, yeah. I done met him and everything like that. Oh yeah? I ain't I don't have a lot of time. Well, I don't take a lot of time to like really go and search out. No, 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 no. You and, and you get. I, I don't think you. I don't think you can. But it's just yeah, I when you be think on of good singing people. Right. 
that been on this platform, you, uh, like I said, Sir Charles Jones for sure, man. Most uh, definitely. Uh, T Dash, eat it up. Yeah. yeah, he go for out. He yeah, does. He ain't playing no games, bro. Yeah, yeah. And but, but and 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 definitely, man. He's just one of those guys that you can't never, you know, you you can't sleep on him, man. He gonna come with it. And that, I, and I put you in the same same category. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but he he been waiting on you to come back, so he could, he gonna jump off into something real. You know, it's it's a few songs that he got, but you know me, he got some, man. It's one he got about moon. What is that song? Let me go to Shout the moon. Shout the moonshine, man. I, give me a verse off that, man. I, I that, that's that's <clears> the, <throat> that's one of the ones, man. That's one of the ones. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. You gotta have a cup in your hand when that motherfucker comes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. See, I was sitting outside with a couple of friends. We were sitting by the fire. Uh huh. One of my friends asked me when I'm in a relationship how I keep my cool cause it's getting hard for me. She say I got this man to get on my goddamn nerve. So what am I supposed to do when I don't want to hear another word? When I'm up, he down. Hey, when I'm left, he right. Sometimes we argue, argue all goddamn night. But tell all I can say, take a shot of moonshine for the ones who doubted me. Pull you up a cup, cup of douce for the ones who cross. Hey, the ones who cross me. Cup of Hennessy when I'm feeling a little freaky. Man, all hold my up. blues in a can of beer in the backyard. Boy, I'm telling you something, man. That's hey, a Southern Soul. That's what I'm talking about. Carlos Miller, man. Do that, man, over there on your show a little sometime. You might. Hey, listen, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, you ever run into them 85 South Boys, man? Man, I watch them all the time. They're my guys right there. Shout out to Chico Bean. Showed us so much love when he was down here, man. And yeah. when you sing, you know, the more boys, you know, oh, oh, Chico Bean, he out of D.C., but that dang Carlos Miller out of Mississippi. See, he got them Southern yeah, roots, man. Boy. Yeah, so, you know, I, I think about it. The boy say he want to go out and hang out with me in the country, but this is what he going to have to deal with, man. I'm down here dealing with a lot of singers, a lot yeah. of, uh, you know, ain't going to be a whole bunch of rap music. I ain't going to lie to you because I be sitting under the tree. I told you that when you was on my show. Yeah. So at the end of the day, man, I'm going to take you with us. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. But you know, have you ever? What's the most talented guy? Like you run into anybody that really not in the industry or don't sing at all on nowhere, but they were just talented. Man, I knew I was gonna hit you with one with that one. <laughs> to be honest, you might not believe me. Man, it's so many of my partners. I'm talking about close friends that's like running circles around me. Like, yeah, and they just and, and they just sitting around. They not they not sitting around. They doing their own thing. But you know they, they don't get on. They, they not they in mold, the. They more musicians. Okay, they I got artists. it. I got like, it. They can yeah. go. They can go. But they but they finna be back. You know they ain't they tripping. Be, yeah, they ain't tripping. They just want to be. Uh, they, they love the instruments. They yeah. love their artistic <clears throat> way. Right. And then too, like it might have been a lot more people from my area that felt like they wanted to take a chance doing that if it was. You know, if you could see it. Wow. A lot of people are scared to take chances. And, and yeah. people love to do what they're doing. People don't like to step out of their comfort zone. Mm -hmm. That's why you have some of the people who finally tired of being the backup singers, the backup dancers, knowing that they have so much talent, they step right. out on faith and they blow up. Right. But so, there's so many others who are there who are scared to step out on right. faith. Could be like, you know what? I'm paying my bills. I'm comfortable. I don't have to be up front because up, being up front comes with a lot of responsibility. Right. Come with a lot of, you're talking about you don't have to move, but you blow up so big that everywhere you walk, you got to have a bodyguard. Mm -hmm. You got to, um, you can't show your face. You got to send somebody shopping for you. People, some people like to be <clears throat> able to talk to regular folks. Right. But when you get so big, you can't just walk and talk to regular folks all the time. Right. It's not because you don't want to. It's just that, you know how you always say, some the bad sport it for the good? Mm -hmm. You have some people that's out there what, who just... That's what it is. Right. So... Man, you... But at the same time, though, it's a lot of people that... that I don't even blame them. 
you know, when they don't uh, take that chance mm-hmm. because you coming from somewhere where struggle is real. Mm-hmm. That's it. Like, and it's a few ways, like, especially being a black man, it's a few ways for you to get it. And, like, you know, a couple of them ain't legal. Yeah. Oh. So it's like when you are... Uh, a lot of people don't understand, like, being an artist, they, they see you pop off and then they see, all right, he making money, he done, he done got a song, now he doing this, he doing, but they don't see, you know, behind the scenes, you done been in the red seven to eight years, you done went in 300, 400,000 over a period of time before you ever seen a dollar. Mm-hmm. So it's like, when you already come from the struggle and every dollar count and you ain't seen nobody else around you, that and did it, you know, to the fullest extent. And then, so you telling me, all right, since I got this talent, if I want to do that, I got to just take a chance to be the only one that ever did it from around here. Like, that's a big chance you take. It's a big chance because we have so many people that we've <clears throat> met who want to be artists, entertainment, but they're in the streets. They don't want to leave the streets alone. So really, you're not giving... You're not giving your career 100% of you. And if right. you're not giving your career 100% of you, how you expect for it to go where you need it to go? You right. have to let that go in order for you to, you know, put all the attention and everything into this. Yep, yep. Man. But see, I was 28 before anything ever, you know, popped off for real. Like, I'd have had moments, you know, but you got to capitalize off of them to make it count big. But, you know, it was, I was 28. Before anything, a lot of people give up before then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got kids, man, I gotta get it. I got, I got this to do. I got mortgage now. You know, I done, I done got me a house now. I done got my girl. You know, we done. You know, it's a lot of stuff that get in the way of that. Yeah, right. I just never let any of that get in. The, you know, I, I saw my my years getting my twenties leaving me. You know, and I but I always believed in myself. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive, any genre. <sighs> um, just three. Any Top genre. three, any genre. Dead or alive, number one. All right, number one, I got to get number one uh, because he all around and most influenced me the most, Jamie Foxx. Mm. Oh, that's hard. That nigga out of Terrell, Texas, right down the street. Yeah, yeah. About that but it's not because is of his music, Jamie though. Jamie Foxx? I want to say it is. I think so, and that's so crazy. But it, it's not because of his music. First, number though. one. Mm. What yeah. is it for? Is his acting? Man, it's it's, it's all it's him. artistry. It's, it's him, like how he come off the people entertainment period, like all the way around best entertainer we ever seen. Number two, hands down. Number two, Pac. Tupac. You gotta get the Pac. What's your Number favorite Tupac song? Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Stop let playing. Me see. Let June sixteenth, nineteen seventy one. Mama gave birth to a hell raising. Yeah, don't make me go there. Is that your uh, favorite? You wonder why they call you beat. Be. Mine gotta be N I G G A. I'd rather be a N I G G A. It's just too. We could get drunk and smoke weed all day. It don't matter if you're lonely, baby. You see that nigga sitting right? Look at that. Look right there. You see that right there? No, behind you right there. Bam! Oh, I ain't even seeing him. I ain't even seeing him right there. The busters ain't love for you, right? Hey, man. N I G G A, and that's the one that you really, really like grind with. Me against the world, baby. I, I like keep putting going. it on while I'm right. Yeah, yeah. I like their mom. Acting like, and acting mama. like I'm back in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, so, uh, I don't care if I got my hat to the front. It come on, I gotta turn it to the side. It go <laughs> in. It don't even look, look you right. see it right there. Look, it, don't it don't even look right. I can't even pull it off. <laughs> I can't do it like they used to do it. But I'm still about to. You know, ain't nobody in here. <laughs> and who's your number three? Number three, I gotta go with Tank. Tank. <clears throat> Have you met Tank? Nah. Not I yet. met this nigga, man. Well, I talked to his auntie, though, and she let me know that, uh, you know, he listened to my he music. He listened to your music? Oh, wow. Yo. That's hard. How, How did, did that make you feel? with his auntie? Huh? How you meet her? She a fan. And she just rocked yo, out yo, with you? Supporter. And wow. she just, you know, just hit me up. She hit me with the Darrell. You know, I ain't, I ain't know who Darrell was. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and, and, and that's yeah, the real is my nephew. You know, you know your people that do you that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. My my childhood nick uh, nickname TJ. They won't <laughs> let it go. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear a while ago when, when my brother said Junior. He was talking. He was talking about me. Yeah. He didn't call it. He didn't say my day. Uh, he ain't gonna say ECEO. He mm-hmm. not gonna say none of that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's just family, man. 
That's just how it go. Yeah. Like they done been at a at a concert with me, me, King George, uh, FPJ, Karen Wolf. Like it was a lot of us. Like it was yeah. All out loud. It don't matter. <laughs> I'm here man, I'm here. I'm supposed to be Marcellus to sing you, you TJ tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard Who though. Who have you met? <clears throat> That because you've been traveling and doing shows, mm -hmm. that you actually got starstruck. That's good, so uh, I'm gonna be honest. I don't Nobody really yet. Think I ever? Not yet. Felt that no, nah. because okay. I say this why because I'm more of a fan of the process and the success and you being a black man beating the odds, doing your like because that's what I wanted. You know, from as a kid. So even though I'm a fan of what you do, I'm more of a fan of how you did it, mm -hmm. like and where you at with it. In so I, that's probably the reason. That's but, hard, man. Man, we love you, brother. I love y'all, man. And uh, you on Boss Talk One Hundred One. I don't know where you been before you came here, but we know that all things work together for the good for them that love God and are called according to his purpose. Yes, sir, that's word. Yeah, see, when I give it to you like that, it, you don't get that no that's way. That's word. This is this something totally different, man. Yeah, yeah. I got another question. One more. Oh, we, the I'm going to shut it down. I know, the last question. Because they say R&B singers, because a lot of times you're singing about romance and all of that, mm -hmm. that y'all are one of the <clears throat> romantic type of people. So if you were supposed to describe a romantic weekend or a romantic date for you and your girl. Mm -hmm. What would you do? I'm not gonna lie to you. That's that's damn near every day. Okay. What it's like the type of person I am. It don't matter what we doing. Like it don't matter what we at, if nothing going on or whatever. Like it's just you know intimacy is different than you know. Okay. What's the most on? romantic thing you've ever see. done for her? Uh. I have to say uh, Valentine's Day This past Valentine's Day Okay what did you do? Cause I did some shit I never you know Really had to do Like I ain't never really had to Go go You know All out on Valentine's Day Cause uh, you know All 365 you know I'm, I do my shit a little bit Okay But I did some shit that I ain't You know I, I don't paint And all of that I just when I did some shit that I don't normally do, that I know shit like we had a nice little dinner. The food was crazy. I ain't gonna lie, the food was crazy. Was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did you go? Uh, we didn't go nowhere. I tricked her and uh brought everything to the house. Okay. Yeah, pimped the house out. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got had a little you. Sip and paint. You know, thing going mm -hmm. on. You know, we women the love food, that, but the lobster the do men hate that? Do y'all hate that? Yeah. <laughs> y'all don't like that super paint. Yeah, we come on, man. We do that. We do that for y'all. Oh, okay. That's never. If I ever looked up anything to do anywhere, sipping paint is not one of the things that I'm finna. <laughs> we love stop. that. I'm gonna scroll, scroll right past it. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> even gonna notice that. Wow, man. Uh, can't wait. She to painted hear. way better than me too. Of course. I bet. She used to it. She mm. been doing it or thinking it. They think it. Mm. I try my best to do certain things, and it's not easy. I ain't even finished mine. I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, man. Thank you for coming on the show, man. Again, Appreciate man, this won't be the last time. I really enjoyed you. Um, I feel like when something new is pop popping up, it just like I tell all the other ones, man, I'm going to call you. I might pull up. I love to come to people's city. So mm -hmm. I'm one of those guys that will pull up on your city, man, and get out right Shit. there. Come on. Yeah, yeah, come for on. sure, man. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. And we out.